My name's Ralph, and I'm a bad guy. Uh, let's see. I'm nine feet tall. I weigh 643 pounds. Got a little bit of a temper on me. Hey, you moved my stump. Ah! Libby, you're breaking my concentration. I chee while drinking purple flurp. I thought victory would be sweet, but it feels all wrong. What's the point of winning if I can't beat Neutron? Look, dude, it's not over yet. You've beaten Bill twice before. Why is this time any different? But nothing as amazing as you and your sister. I don't know if it's dumb luck or yin and yang or whatever, but when you two work together, there's like nothing you two can't accomplish. Now, we've all heard of the legend of Atlantis, a continent somewhere in the mid-Atlantic that was home to an advanced civilization, possessing technology far beyond our own. That, uh, according to our friend Plato here, was suddenly struck by, by some cataclysmic event that sank it beneath the sea. Now, some of you may ask, why Atlantis? It's just a myth, isn't it? Pure fantasy. Well, that is where you'd be wrong. You little guy. You want to be an elephant when you grow up? You be an elephant. Because this is Utopia. No one tells me what I can or can't be. Especially not some jerk who never had the guts to try to be anything more than a popsicle hustler. Well, my intuition tells me that way. And that's how we solved the case of the moat monster, one of our most frightening mysteries. Someone must have been pulling the strings. But who? Whatever that thing was, it can't hurt you now. Nobody's taking her away. It's about time we met face to face. Not if I have anything to say about it. Yeah, it should be fun. No matter how you do the math, it all adds up to you going down. I'm not coming out. This thing looks like Gus sewed it together in the dark. Look, I'm not wearing this thing in public. Understand? Chosen little Miss Blush, most important to me, will be achieving world peace. Adding a little happiness and unity to every life I touch. Teaching others to read. And lastly, managing to do it all in style with a radiant head of expertly coiffed hair. Well, it was pretty dark in the garage last night when I was sewing it. But I did my best. I can't believe that after all we've been through together, you don't trust me. Ouch. Sorry. My hands are full. Hi. How you doing? I think we can jump across. No, not really. How much do I mean to you? Maybe we should take the bridge? <sighs> Doesn't it feel so good to be bad? When I started out, people said a woman could never rob a bank as well as a man. Well, times change. Yes, Carl? Um... Carl, Mr. Neutron and I... See, sometimes people like to have private time. Just the two of them. I've just had the most terrible dream. Rather melodramatic, if you ask me. I want you right by my side the entire evening. You are a wonderful student. Gotcha! Well, if you do need anything else, my door is always open. Attention, everyone! I'm afraid I have distressing news. There is no way spring can come on time. Months of work was lost. And it will take us months to restore it all. Well, 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 Banzai, what have we got here? Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. I know you. You're Mufasa's little stooge. You know what we do to kings who step out of their kingdom? What I want from you is... Your voice. You've got it, sweet cakes. No more talking, singing, zip. I am Hela, Odin's firstborn. Commander of the Legions of Asgard, the rightful heir to the throne, and the goddess of death. My father is dead. I don't have time to find another date, so you're gonna find one for me! And I don't want just anyone. I want someone handsome and popular and totally cool. Someone no other girl could get. You're kidding, right? Oh, my beloved subjects. It's been so long since I've seen your precious little sun-loving faces. You little fool! I am the princess of the night. Thus it is my duty to come into your dreams. I never knew what I was capable of. No, no, it's okay. You, you don't have to apologize. But you should probably go. Please. But you belong down in Arendelle. No, Anna, I belong here. Ten seconds flat. Yes, it's all true. Are you a spy? Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh! I hate losing. Oh, all right. Hammer! How dare you! I know this one! I really like her mean! Oh my, sounds serious. Surprise!
Oh yes, they will. They know we're missing, and they have tracking dragons. And the greatest dragon master this world has ever seen. Unless you let us go, right now. He will blast through here on his night fury and blow your entire fleet of ships to splinters. All right. I do have the power. I have all the power in the world! You have redeemed yourself, my son. Welcome home. You will fight for your honor. No more little Yama. Hey, I, I'm as surprised as you are. Beginner's luck. Do, do you want to go again? Yama? Bot fighting is not illegal. Betting on bot fighting, that's, that's illegal, but so lucrative. I'm on a roll, big brother, and there is no stopping me. I think I'm working. This takes precedence. I'm in the middle of an interrogation. This moron is giving me everything. That's totally not fair. Gru is a great agent. You know what? If you fire him, you're going to have to fire me, sister, sister. And do you really want to do that? Do ya? Excuse me! Are you okay? Treasure planet. I know that I keep messing everything up. And I know that I let you down. But this is my chance to make it up to you. What are you doing here, master of this castle? And he shouldn't have trespassed here. There's nothing you can do. He's my prisoner. This prom is some manner of duel, yes? Robin eagerly accepts. He does not accept. Do you hear? Robin does not accept! What? Put this back? Save the world? You'd be everyone's hero. Then we get your hook. We get your hook, take out Tika, restore the heart. Unless you don't want to be Maui, demigod of the wind and sea, hero to all. You know, father blames uncle for the loss at the North Pole. And he considers you a miserable failure for not finding the Avatar. Why would he want you back home, except to lock you up where you can no longer embarrass him? And since you can't see, I should tell you, I'm rolling my eyes. The gods have given me a bird! When you use a bird to write with, it's called tweeting. It almost sounded like you don't like me, which is impossible because I got stuck here for a thousand years trying to get the heart as a gift for you mortals. Best warrior, huh? In your whole village. Maybe you'd be kind enough to give us a little demonstration. There were no men. We ambushed you. Now tell us, who are you and what are you doing here? What is it? Did I do something wrong? No. I don't know where they are. They locked me in here because I'm the leader. Oh, this is fantastic! A carbon-based life form come to rescue me at last! I just want to hug you and squeeze you and hold you close to me. I, I've, I've been marooned for uh, so long. I mean, <laughs> solitude's fun! Don't get me wrong, for heaven's sakes, after a hundred years, you go a little nuts! <laughs> then, out of nowhere, oh, boo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. How dare you! I am so frustrated I could just scream. <gasps> Seven hours ago, we started this expedition with 200 of the finest men and women I've ever known. We're all that's left. I won't sugarcoat it, gentlemen. We have a crisis on our hands. We've been up this particular creek before, and we've always come through, paddle or no paddle. I see no reason to change that policy now. From here on in, everyone pulls double duty. Everyone drives, everyone works. Looks like all our chances for survival rest with you, Mr. Thatch. You and that little book. My mind is never troubled. People come, people go. It's pointless to be upset about cyborg. What? Um, I know this isn't my style, but we just kicked Slade's butt. Shouldn't we celebrate or something? I'm liking this idea. These Nambi Pambi stories aren't getting us any closer to our cutie marks. Never, never, never! You got a problem with blank flanks? That is not how you call a chicken. That's so funny I forgot to laugh. Hey, Uncle Scar, guess what? I'm gonna be king of Pride Rock. My dad just showed me the whole kingdom. And I'm gonna rule it all. <laughs> yes, Miss Finster. Sorry, Miss Finster. This has gotta be some sort of mistake or something. Hey, where's that Gordy guy anyway? Look, we should just be happy your dad let us use his old parachute. Okay. Blow your nose. Okay, now it's time for this little spacer to go to sleep. Jim, look at me. 
It's been hard enough keeping this place afloat by myself. But Jim, I just don't want to see you throw away your entire future. <gasps> Will this rain never end? I meant the metaphorical rain in my soul. <sighs> I just realized there is nothing fulfilling about being a teacher. Finest road paving machine ever built. I'm hereby sentencing you to community service. You're gonna fix the road under my supervision. This ain't asphalt, son. This is dirt. Let's just recap. <laughs> you steal my motorcycle. I don't have you arrested. I invite you into my home. I teach you about the joys of sculpting. I'm forced to wait an hour for bagels I didn't even want. And then I come home to find you chewing on my sister's face. Well, I took this job when my dad retired. But the funny thing was, he always wanted sons, right? One to run his machine shop, and the other to be middleweight boxing champion. But he got my sister and me instead. He's 24 and know with his shot at the title next month. A hundred years have passed, and the Fire Nation is nearing victory in the war. Two years ago, my father and the men of my tribe journeyed to the Earth Kingdom to help fight against the Fire Nation, leaving me and my brother to look after our tribe. Some people believe that the Avatar was never reborn into the Air Nomads and that the cycle is broken. But I haven't lost hope. All of you feel this way? Feel like I shouldn't be here? And you really think that'll work? Anything else? Are you crazy? What is ticking? Dear Princess Celestia, Roku was just as much Fire Nation as Sozin was, right? If anything, their story proves anyone's capable of great good and great evil. Everyone, even the Fire Lord and the Fire Nation, have to be treated like they're worth giving a chance. And I also think it was about friendships. Okay, 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 I've got a person in my closet. I've got a person in my closet. I've got a person in my closet! <laughs> <sighs> Too weak to handle myself out there, huh, Mother? Well, <laughs> tell that to my friend, Penny. I'm Gazelle. Welcome to Zootopia. Zootopia is a unique place. It's a crazy, beautiful, diverse city where we celebrate our differences. We cannot let fear divide us. Please give me back the Zootopia I love. Attention, all hands to the launch bay. To whoever took the L from the motor pool sign, ha ha, we are all very amused. Attention, tonight's supper will be baked beans, musical program to follow. Mm -hmm. Who wrote this? Mm. For me, it's the excited pitter-patter of little feet. Leaving my classroom. Rachel, what's wrong? You look like a biscuit that's been dunked. Why? I understand. Really? That's so sweet of you. And look at you. You're as trim and as bonny as a sloop with new sails and a fresh coat of paints. I want this deck swabbed spotless. And heaven help you if I come back and it's not done. Are you taking all day about it? That's right, I'm Sokka. It's pronounced with an Akka. Young ladies, I rocked ya. It's a giant mushroom. Maybe it's friendly! Friendly mushroom! Mushy giant friend. Lucy, can we get these? What's that for? Here we are, in the dark and creepy crooked forest, in search of the mythical unicorn. For some reason. And here she is, the fearless unicorn hunter. Grunkle Stan, you are a cranky, gross, weird old man. But we will get Lazy Susan to like you because nothing is stronger than the power of Mabel. Remember, this is a safe, non-judgmental environment. I'll just be right off to the side judging you on a scale from one to ten. I am putting together a show. And I need a star. Well, I'm laughing anyway, kid, so might as well get paid. There I was, back in Omashu, waiting for just the right moment. I didn't know what or when, but I knew I'd know it when I knew it. An eclipse, that'll do it. Taking back my city, you've got no firepower, and it's payback time. Tomorrow I promise Gibby I'd help him do some research on the proper care and feeding of weasels, so... My name is Helga Sinclair. I'm acting on behalf of my employer, who has a most intriguing proposition for you. Are you interested? Do you want to stay at the huh. Cozy Cone or what? Huh? I mean, if you do, you gotta be clean, because even here in Hillbilly Hell, we have standards. <laughs> Nothing, I just thought I'd say thank you for doing a great job, so I thought I'd let you stay with me. Oh, not with me, but there.
Uh, not with me there, but there in your own cozy cone, and I'd be in my cone. Uncle, I know you must have mixed feelings about seeing me, but I want you to know I am so, so sorry, Uncle. I am so sorry and ashamed of what I did. People probably thought that these guys were weirdos too, but that never stopped them. <laughs> I was saving this for your birthday, but here. What am I doing? I shouldn't be seeing him again. I mean, I want to see him again. But still, something inside is telling me it's the right thing. Do you think he's the one the spinning arrow was pointing to? What guy wants to go on a date and watch a girl go? I'm Pam Pocket. Why don't you two just pick up your forks and use them to jab each other in the eyes? Have you ever had a dream that... That you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you you do you could you you want you want him to do you so much you could do anything.